As far as I can remember, Bloodlines is an A-tier quality game with a few small problems. I'm curious how well I like it in 2022. But this was always one of my favorite classic vanias. Playing as John here, and for those who care about single player balancing, well compared to 4, you've got the 5 way whip, instead of the 8 way whip. But it's still very good, and you can do a little something like this. Uh, maybe this is the wrong place to show it off. <laughs> you know, the stairs are too friendly in this game. You just hold up and jump, you land on the stairs. I'll find a different room to show off the whip spin. You can do a little Spider-Man in this game. Sub Weapon's got its own unique button, and perhaps the greatest innovation of this game. Sub Weapon candles look different. I've said before this is the only classic venue that has that excellent mechanic, but thinking about it more, that's not quite true. Curse of the Moon, if you count it, also has this improvement. So it's two games, or three, maybe, if you want to count it that way. But still, of the official classic vanias, this game's it. Hey, what's up, Rod? Thank you very much for the 14 months. Big number. Super appreciate it. Hope you're excited for John. I sure am. This game is hard. I will die. Not sure how good Holy Water is in this game, but Axe is always solid. Oh, he wasn't dead. Holy Water Crash is decent. How do you do crashes in this game? Probably select. It's a Genesis controller. So not too many buttons to work with. I'll try it on the boss, see if that works. I feel like Holy Water is the most inconsistent sub weapon in terms of quality. It's either top tier or it's low tier. Sometimes it's mid, but rarely. Oh, it's just up plus sub weapon. Nice. That's easier. What does select do? Nothing. Alright, so here we go. So this is kind of like a nerfed version of the Castlevania 4 whip hooks, except here any ceiling will work. So in that sense it's buffed. Not sure where really to use it, I'm going to mostly leave that to speedrunners. too early there. By the way, Harmony copied this exact gimmick. And on unrelated news, I found a cool one second time save for juiced speedruns involving that blade. Please look forward to it. Sick one up. Maybe the easiest one up in Castlevania to get. That's a good point. There was a six button Genesis controller, but not a lot of games used it, I don't think. Mostly fighting games like Street Fighter. Hey, what's up, Vey? I know you've got a lot of experience with this game. Vey, I think you prefer this a little bit to uh, four, right?
So fun fact, this armor, that was the easiest boss I've ever seen, is called Crazy Armor. That is also the first boss of Curse of Darkness. <laughs> Yo, password! Somebody take a screenshot for when I die here. Now, if you ask me, this is the worst rendition of this particular song. But that's not saying much. This is one of the best Castlevania tracks, period. I think I'm happy with the axe, actually. I'm gonna stick with this. Now, this right here is the biggest problem with this game. I think everyone will agree. You travel all across Europe. You're outside the castle, you're inside the castle, but somehow, no matter where you go, there's an auto-scroller in your way. How many? I don't know. This is one. I'm gonna keep track. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Off-screen orb, thank you. Here we got a cool section, kind of like a mid-boss rush. Gotta be quick here. Oh, whoops. Gotta start further away here. Good. God, the music I love. Let's talk about it. Thoughts on the Genesis sound chip. It's kind of a love it, hate it thing. Or maybe more love it, indifferent. I'm not sure anyone hates it. I slightly prefer how the SNES sounds. But for action games, I think Genesis might have it be. It's close. Anyway, this is auto scroller number two. Dear Lord. Oh, this is terrible. I'm gonna die. Hustle! Oh, never mind. That was the bottom. Careless. I thought that whip was gonna be uh, vertical enough to hit the bottom one while standing. It's not powered up that much. 
By the way, can someone explain to me real quick Cliff Notes version of how that upgrade works, the blue orb? Is it based on hearts or kills or what's the deal? Oh my goodness gracious. I can't believe that hit me. It's fine, I got the axe back. That's all you need. Is it just in certain candles as a rare drop? Okay. Okay, I gotta time this better. Hello, Raccoon Kai. Thank you very much for the resub. Greatly appreciated. Thank you. Yo, 2K points. I'm guessing this game is like Castlevania 4, where points actually do matter if you're going for a 1cc. Hopefully, more lives soon. Oh, you've got to be kidding. I'm having some trouble with these bone pillars. Okay. Oh, this is a fun room. What's the game plan here? Just go for it. Now, I am pretty dang sure that Gollum and Harmony is just a ripoff of this boss, who's also probably named Gollum. Non sub weapon candles for the spear or super whip. Thank you. So get more candles, you get hearts, you get ammunition, and you get upgrades. Good point. I am playing on the anniversary collection, which remains one of the best deals on Steam. So less lag. This is apparently the best way to speedrun this particular game. Uh, I think this is where it gets really hard. Thankfully, they just give you the axe. Now, I'm curious, does anyone know what team made this? Back in the day, there were several Konami teams that made various games. Wait, my axe? Well, that's my fault. The candle told me what was coming. So we can try this out. Boomerang's good. Hello, Absolute Zero. Thank you for the half year. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Glad you're enjoying the streams. Ah, uh, it's fine. Yeah, no fear. Wait, what the? <laughs> oh, you can't jump through, you have to walk. I took two hits for that mistake. Brutal. I got the holy water. Wait, isn't there like a secret here? That I missed? It might be a uh, Eric Lacard exclusive. I think it is. Hello, Helder, thank you for two months. Appreciate the resub. And very technique, 100 bits. Wow. 
Oh, it's fine. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. Keep my distance. Nice shot. Is this game really $4 right now? What's the advanced collection? Under 15, I'm guessing. All right, auto scroller, uh, number three. This one, however, I will admit. It's, uh, it's worth the price of admission. This is a cool auto-scroller. You're in the Leaning Tower. the screen is gonna stop. I think I almost died there. Auto scroller number four. This one is also cool, but much harder. Don't worry about the ones on the side, that's bait. Oh, what? <laughs> How did that happen? A uh, bad auto scroller. It's bad. Is there like a secret axe somewhere? That might be it. I'm going for it. Oh, that angle, hang on, this holy water is not bad. I'll take this too, that's an excellent holy water angle. Oh, there's the axe. I've got two hearts. Let's try this again. Okay, right in the middle. Dead set in the middle. He gave me a sub weapon. You good?
Now this boss is fancy. I, I don't know how to dodge though is the problem. How do you dodge that? Just be on the side, I guess. Oh, I'm getting comboed. Oh my god. I'm getting absolutely owned here. I think you can maybe double hit there. Oof. Toughest boss so far. One life. You gotta make this one count. Hello, Desco. Thank you for the two months. Hope you're having a good evening tonight. Okay. Do I sacrifice the one CC and just jump off somewhere? I probably should, but I'll avoid it. So, three stages in. My mid-game review, basically exactly as I remembered. Incredible control, especially on the stairs. Great stage theming, very good bosses. It's all really good. Quality game, except for the auto-scrollers. We are currently sitting at four. Anyway, these right here are a contender for best skeleton in the series, I think. Does anyone know the name? Either way, I'm a fan. Well, eventually I'm gonna do a speedrun for every Castlevania. That's the plan. I remember a one-up secret somewhere. It's not here. This might be it. Okay, you can't press down too early. It's close. Come on, man. Can I not get up here? Might have to give up on this. This looks very possible, but let's try from the other side. Aha! Wait a minute! <laughs> Mysterious! Come on, show me that secret. Can I grab onto nothing? Surprisingly, I cannot. Wow, tight jump. Hey, check it out! What a great game. So you get the secret, then you get the super secret.
Uh, that's fine. <laughs> that's a classic Genesis sound effect. Huge fan. Uh, I gotta take this more seriously. That was close. Oh! 1cc. <laughs> I got that one up. That's probably gonna be it, though. That's fine. This has been my favorite stage so far. I wouldn't mind doing this a second time. There we go. All right, so speedrunners in the chat, what is considered the best sub weapon here for John? This might be a top tier axe kind of game, I'm thinking. It is Zax, let's go. That's nice because Ax is often just barely outside of the top tier range. Okay, I was trying to do some exploring. I was suspicious about what was on the right. Bad idea. I'm going for it. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, that ghost is gonna get me. I was close. Get out of here. Now there is something to this. All right. Oh, interesting. Creature's got a lot of moves. Oh, here we go. Love this part. Well, it's been a great stage. Can't wait to do it again. I just realized there are no Roman numerals in this game, right? One sub weapon's all you get.
Still alive, if I can get a meat. Then, uh, maybe. Wait a minute. Oh, it's over, I know this boss. Maybe if I kill all these, a meat drops from the center. <laughs> How is there no meat? GG. Okay. I got one hit in. On the bright side, I learned a lot about that stage. Oh, wait a minute! Are you telling me this is a friendly, classic Vania? Hang on, is this an advanced collection thing? Or was it always this way? Hmm. Just gotta worry about not running out of continues. Although, let me ask before I get too excited. If you run out of continues, do you go back to the start of the game? <laughs> You do? Okay. Good to know. Hopefully not a problem. That is a fascinating move. Phase change. All right, he's done. Another fun boss. Also very visually impressive for a 16-bit game. Two more to go. I think it's stage six is the last one. Stage six definitely has a crazy gimmick. Maybe there's seven. Wait a minute, was there not a single auto-scroller in that whole stage? Oh, no wonder it's the best. Uh, reverse control. That's one way to do poison in Castlevania. Kind of surprised that never came back. Like, why is that not in circle? That's perfect for circle. Oh, that was some BS. Wait a minute. You ever play Undertale? Never mind. <laughs> Streamer, please stop talking about Toby Fox games. But I think he got a bullet pattern at the very start of the game from that part right there. Ooh! Okay. Well, that's brutal. Let me uh, try to get some more distance on this one. Okay, better. Wonder what the speedrun strat is here. Maybe just hold forward and tank the hits. 
Oh man. I'm dead? Wow. That was tougher, no joke, than some boss fights. Well, this time I'm ready. What's in that candle? One piece of ammunition. I think uh, going forward might actually be effective here. <laughs> you can do a little something like that. But also I'm dead again. Uh-uh. I think I found the toughest room in the game. Much better. Surely that's the last one. Okay. <laughs> that one got me. But it also got him. That's fair. Um, okay. Oof. Problem is, the one life. Still a lot of places to go, I'm sure. Uh, I'm gonna need some help here. <laughs> wow. Toughest stage so far. But a good one. Okay, I'm gonna have to, for the sake of the stream, make a save every time I start a stage. I'm gonna do this one here. But normally, like when I start a stage, if I get a game over, I'll go back to the start. I don't wanna type in a password, man. That was a joke earlier. Alright, if we want to keep it authentic, Malert, and you want to send me some passwords, that would be much appreciated. I'll go down that road. And 
Now, there's got to be a better way to handle this. They give you five here. Okay, better. Noticed a lot of stuff that's uh, Eric exclusive. This, however, looks John exclusive. Oh, the double whip! I'm gonna try and make it all the way across. I think he's dead. Oh, I don't think you can do more than two. So you gotta land on that little platform. You know what, let's see what's over here first. Could be a one-up. It probably is a one-up. Alright, quick chat poll. Can I get this in less than five minutes? What a joke. Alright, so yeah, apparently if you hit a platform that interrupts it, but otherwise you can do it infinitely. Alright, this is easy, it's fine. I was actually too far somehow. Got another idea. I think I fluked into this one the first time. Still too far. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to undershoot this. I still overshot it. Alright. <laughs> Check this out. Here's the new game plan. All the way to the left on this platform. And then the smallest tops imagine. <laughs> Maybe not that far left. Alright, right there. Okay. All that for? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I have found the first flaw with this video game. No game is perfect. Not even a me. I was really expecting a one up. Yo, this game's got back whip. Sign of a good game. God, this room is so cool. Oh, it's going in reverse. Okay. Well, this is interesting. 
I kind of want to get up there. But we'll leave that for some other time. I want to use this while I have it. Oh my god! <laughs> I should have kept climbing. This game is so good. Yeah, I'll grab these. That was a bad idea. Oh, maybe not. I'll take this. Alright, so I'm crouching. I see. Alright, so you have to have that one attack solved, then it's easy. But if you don't solve it, <laughs> takes half your health. There we go. I love the look on these archers. Oh, it's bulky as well. Nice. Nice. A uh, machine gun robot. Nice. Oh, they're just gone. Okay. Good. This is such a nice boss. I've never seen an optical illusion boss in a video game. Not that I can remember. Although I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Oh, I can break this. Do you hit the statue? Oh, you sure do. Anyone got that password ready to go? DMs? Okay, thank you. Oh, I see the gimmick here. So I'm never starting on the left side again. Bad idea.
good. I feel like with a lot of these bosses and uh, mid-bosses, there are just a couple of tricks you gotta know and then they're solved. It feels kind of Castlevania 1 in the way that's designed. More of a puzzle than a combat challenge, although I'm sure that's different in speedrunning. This room is suspiciously friendly. Oh dear. Oh boy, what a transformation. Can't believe they got me. Damn, it's over. That was like a slow-mo moment. Oh my god. Both charging each other. Only one can win. And that's me. Time to die to stage six. Alright, that's the passcode. Uh... Ultra Mega Banger. This song needs more Castlevania Remix, I think. A lot of people hate this gimmick. I think it's great. You're given enough information to win. Oh god, I'm confused already. <laughs> okay. Now, um... Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I, I don't know how to read this. I'm overcomplicating. Just jump. I'm dead. <laughs> I hesitated. And now if I go to the password screen, does it default auto enter the password? Oh my god. All right, hang on. Let me log into Discord real quick. I'm awaiting the DM. This is the... Oh, I see. It's every password. Okay, so 6-1. Uh, oh, I see. Small spoilers here. 6-1 is uh, very long. Oh god, this is so weird. 
Uh... No, how did I mess this up? Wait a minute. Uh... Oh, this is an axe? There we go. Sorry, very small resolution. Alright, back in there. I'm sorry I couldn't do the uh, password free clear. Hard game. Oh, speaking of lag, I guess the lag's not that much better. That wasn't too bad. Oh, I forgot about this one. I'm gonna be honest, I forgot about this one. This one might be harder. So do I press down to grab the stairs? I do, God, that's weird. this guy. I love this guy. Definitely a jump scare. I'm not gonna use the holy water. Whip only here. Oh, it's random. Damn, this room's insane. remember too much about the bosses here. Okay, death to start. Uh-huh. Oh! Wasn't well, that nice? <laughs> Mr. Friendly. By the way, we're at the end of the game. I think the uh, final auto-scroller count is four, right? And a couple of those were actually really good. That's uh, not as many as I remember, truthfully.
Let's see if this goes more smoothly than the first encounter. Nice double hit. Feels like the bosses have a little bit less health, which I think is appropriate. And I like the recolors here. Yeah. yeah, I could have gone for a little bit of this on the bat. It just feels too committal. Maybe I'm too afraid of the platforms nearby, or the uh, bottomless pits rather nearby the platform. But I didn't want to commit too hard. All right, last one. a lot of damage for one hit. Super nerfed. Alright, now time to fight death himself, surely. That's right, death, no more cards. Um, oh. Okay. Okay. I figured this one had a phase too, yeah. Ooh, interesting. I don't know what this is. God, this boss is insane. Not sure what's happening here. Oh, these don't hurt you. That would have been a big difference maker. I was trying to dodge them before, just to explain what the heck I was doing. I'm sure it looked ridiculous. There we go. Now, is this the boss that speedrunners always compare about? I guess you'd want the one that has a five and not four. Maybe you want the one that has four. I'm not sure if it deals different damage. Oh, six, huh? Uh, wasn't paying attention. Although I gotta say, uh, this seems very easy. Set pattern, that's nice. 
I really shouldn't be dying again here. Why do I have so many lives? This password I put in is broken. Although my whip is now bad. That could be a problem. Well, I'm a huge fan of treasure in general. Everything from like Astro Boy on the GBA to Wario World. Alien Soldier is one of the very best games on the Genesis. You don't gotta sell me on treasure. Silver Gun, yes, great shmup. And my favorite shmup is Gradius 5, which is, of course, a treasure. Konami just published that one. What is the name of this character, by the way? I think it's Elizabeth something. Is it Elizabeth Bartlett? I gotta be honest, Elizabeth is the worst boss in this game. I was looking at chat. There's some speed tech to move this along. If not, that was definitely the low point. Cool concept, but too simple to dodge and uh, very drawn out. Phase one was nice. Oh, here we go. The home stretch. You know what? Before I move on, I'm gonna call Elizabeth Bartley stage or phase two uh, an auto scroller. That phase is an auto scroller to me. So that's five total for the game. Hopefully everyone agrees that's fair. I remember precisely nothing about this Dracula. Oh man, it looks so good. Uh, okay.
I don't remember this. Was that a lucky guess? <laughs> okay, nice. Not a grab. It just always works that way. Okay, what now? Hello, mages. Phase four. That was the worst Dracula. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it. This has been such an awesome game. But I now know why I don't remember that fight. That was a solid F Dracula. <laughs> Alright, but look, on the whole, for this whole playthrough, I was really inclined to upgrade this game on my rankings to an S tier. It was that good for 90% of it. But I think Elizabeth and Dracula did bring it down a notch. It's that Belmont's revenge problem. I'd rather it be too easy than too frustrating, but still. Something satisfying is ideal, of course. And then there were a few auto-scrollers. That part wasn't quite as bad. On the whole, though, absolutely one of the best classic Vanias. Had a great time. Crazy armor. One of my absolute new favorites.